Hey, so in this video, we're going to work on the Mercedes-Benz cleaner manufacturing data. The plan of action is to look at the data and understand the problem statement. Now, I'm not going to focus a lot on the problem statement itself. It is a regression type of a problem statement. And the idea here is to cut the time a Mercedes-Benz spends on the test bench, which is essentially there are a number of features that we need to test on the Mercedes-Benz and features can be parts that needed to be test, test, tested and there are different different custom parts that are that are needed to be tested. So each of them will take different time and we want to ensure to reduce the time to perform those testings. Now this is a regression type of a problem statement and so we're going to dive in to first understand the data and look at the columns and, and see what we can do with them. And this is like the first step of whatever you do with the data. And so it's going to be a more comprehensive approach as opposed to you know looking at it from an overview level. So let's look at the data first. Here's a quick plan of action. We're going to identify numerical and categorical features. We're going to identify features which are continuous and which are categorical. And then we're going to further divide them into how we're going to approach doing something with them, right? Then uh, we have identify features with missing values, identify features with zero or low variance, then identify features that do not add value, reduce dimensionality, and perform ordinal encoding for few categorical features. Now, categorical features uh, cannot go directly into the model without being transformed. And so we're going to encode uh, or ordinarily encode a few of the categorical features and I'll let you do the rest of the categorical features. So let's dive in and uh, let's see how we can do this stuff here. Although we can do this on Python a lot better, but I'm going to give you a visual idea of how it's getting done on Excel. If it was done on Python, uh, you can translate these steps. So I have with me the train data. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire data like this. So I'm just going to go on A1. I'm say Control Shift right down, and I'm going to click on Formulas and say Create from Selection, and I'll say Top Row. Now what this does is it creates names for all of the features that are available here. So it creates all of these names, which which can then be used while I am writing formulas on top of them. Okay, so I have a cheat called as a features. What I'm going to do is take all of these features here and just take probably like first five rows and paste and transpose them here. Okay, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ID column towards the right hand side here and this is basically getting us some sample data here so that we can work on and, and see what's happening so I'm going to call this as features let me just expand this a little bit and we're going to say you know this is row row one two row five okay now now what we're going to do is uh, identify what the character type is first right so identifying numerical or categorical and the way that we do it is we we test a few elements within the data set and identify whether or not it's a categorical or a numerical and this should be easy so uh, data type we call this and then we can say is number right and we say is number look at the fifth row probably and say see that if it's number then it's going to be numerical else it's going to be categorical so i'm going to say if is numerical then numerical else categorical okay so this way <coughs> This way we get numerical and categorical features. We know the ID column is going to be the ID column, 
this is going to be y column so we're going to rename the id and y to be exactly the same and the rest of the columns can be categorized into numerical or category so if you see here you'll have categorical numerical and identity now we need to know whether or not some of the features are there within this are binary or not so i'm going to say binary right so we're uh, you know done with the first task which is identify numerical and categorical features uh, we can straight away jump into identifying continuous binary features also right so let's let's look look at that and, and see if we can find out so the way we'll approach it is if if that particular column has two unique values so if you go like something like that and you see that it has zero and one it's going to be called as a binary feature so if it has two unique values then it's going to be called as binary right so the the way we can look at it is i can just say is equal to unique unique remember i created the names for all of the features so i can just type all of the features here so i'm going to say 360 here close the bracket and you'll see that it has zero and one as a unique values within this but we just want the count of it and so the way we will do is we will say count count a of this and it should give me two right so so the way we'll write it here is we'll say we'll say count a of indirect of let's say id and it should give me the unique values of it right so count a and then uh, that should be unique here so the we use indirect if we have multiple names on the sheet so to so take it to the feature set here close it okay so as you can see here it's 4209 which is the number of rows we have within our data that is 4209 so we got that features count here it's always going to be unique so that's not going to be and then you keep going down and you see that we have a lot of these uh, features that are available here okay so you have 4209 uh, 25 47 and i don't know why this is having one here uh, let's see oh i understand why it's happening so every feature that we have uh, you know added some extra underscores here right so we need to adjust for that i'm going to say this and underscore okay and then that should correct it okay now if you filter through this binary column uh, you'll see that we have a lot of features so 1 2 4 7 12 and all of that as a unique count so i want to say count of categories right or unique count just say unique here so the unique count is this uh, we, we have this and I'm, I'm going to say binary here binary is going to be if this particular column is greater right than two then one else zero right so this is how we'll get the binary features we know that anybody who has greater than non-binary features anybody who has zero will become the binary features right in fact there are some one features so we don't need them also so we'll rewrite the binary feature right we just want if it is less than so we're going to say and if it is less than two right less than two and again the j2 is not equal to not of 
j2 equal to 1 right so we want j to be to be less than 2 and not equal to 1 then it should be 1 right so let's see hopefully this does the job okay okay it's not doing the work so let's just go with or here everybody's one here so let's just go with first j2 is less than 2 then 0 okay so let's do all of the binary features that is this and these are like unique features uh, which are less than 1 uh, they're just giving you the one feature so we don't want that we want less than equal to 2 or let's say just equal to 2 is then binary features okay just beating around the bush i think just equal to 2 is is a lot better so if you see here now we have one and we have all the unique binary features that are available and all of these are the binary features that are available so we identified them and um, you know all of them are numerical we don't know if there are missing values yet okay so th this is binary feature there are columns that we saw you know have one value also right so just one value features also are available and these are like straight away we can delete them uh, and and the way we'll do it is we'll just you know build up ab above this binary we're going to say it's equal to one and how many of these one features we have right so we have uh, you know these are like one one features that we have now what we'll do on top of this is going to be a different story so we're going to keep all the strategies uh, you know aside you know after we identified all of these steps so we got the binary features we got the you know one value features and if you have to look at you know the rest of the type of features so if you remove the one and twos we'll have uh, some few features that have some categorical data so if you see here these are some categorical data and um, you know we can work on them to to do some encoding on top of that but before that we need to see if there are any missing values or no and so to do that the way we'll approach it is this right so we going to say the same thing here right same thing here but we are going to find we're going to say is null is blank in excel right and uh, okay, for some reason it's saying count or just say let's say is blank first and see what's happening Yeah, and it says false and all of that and what we need to do is just you know and close them within count so no missing values here and I'm just going to expand that and continue to move okay so it says there is one missing values in this category let's see if that is true so go here and see if there are any missing values hopefully there is okay there doesn't seem to be missing values here for some reason is blank Okay, so we're going to do it here and see where is that coming from so I'm going to say is equal to is blank and expand this 
Now, hopefully, there should be no blank. But if there is no blank, if there is no blank, it should ideally be coming as zero. So it's not it's not coming. And let's see why is that. So we're going to use the formula that I have used there. So I'm going to say count. Count is zero, which is what we want. OK, so this is what we want. Let's see how to get that. So for x1, there are, let's see if there is beyond 1 something. No, there's just 0 or 1. Uh, OK. Okay, so we can use a direct function here. Seems like I just overcomplicated this. Instead of this, we are going to say count blank. Let's see if we can get that easily. Blank and enter. So if I drag that down. Seems like there is one extra feature that is there. And the way, the reason it's happening, I'm thinking, is because some extra row has been added. So I'm just going to say is equal to x count blank of x zero. Yeah, and now I understand. We need to say and the underscore again. Okay, not for all of them, only from here. Okay, much better. So let's see if there are any missing values. There are now no missing values in this, right? So we're good in, in terms of the missing values. Now, uh, so that's that's the you know the profile that we that we created for for this particular data. Now, uh, what we need to do is do the ordinal encoding on top of it, right? So the ordinal encoding is how do we take this feature and ordinarily encode them, right? So the way we have to do that is uh, you know you you have to take the unique values and then on top of that assign them a value and then you know. Uh, put it back in the data. So, so far what we've done is identify numerical categorical features, we identified which are continuous, which are categorical in nature, uh, identify features with missing values, we don't have any missing values features, identify features with zero or low variance, uh, variance is something that we need to calculate, identify features that do not add value, we identify some of them which is the, un, you know, the, the one value one and again variance will will also help us identify some some of those also perform ordinal encoding on the feature right so let's just do variance calculation here for all of the features and that should essentially come back to the one some of the val one value features so we can say is equal to where population indirect okay uh, indirect of our this feature close bracket okay i'm going to expand this and yes there is going to be some errors here uh, for categorical features definitely there will be nothing but from this feature onwards we want to ensure that we add underscore okay going down and copying all of the variance formulas now notice uh, anywhere there is one value right 
uh, it is going to variance is going to be zero right so we've also another way to identify it is is like that so if you see zero here we'll have we have this one value features which we identify which is you know the the 12 of them that are there right so these are some of the features and the way we, we operate is we delete these features right so we're going to delete the x11 um, 93107 features from the data it's a lot easier to do it in python but you get the idea here on, on what we need to do so we calculated variance and all of that and we're now in the final step where we do ordinal encoding now so how do we do ordinal encoding typically ordinal encoding in in python right so this is pre-processing called as ordinal encoding and we we can typically do some uh, encoding on top of it there is the ordinal encoder which we can apply on top of it right there is also something called as a label encoder label encoder is typically for your y variable and it shouldn't be done on the x variables and so a much better way of doing it is the ordinal encoding we need to apply this and uh, i have a video on this which you can watch on how to do that but yeah that's how ordinal encoding uh, is done in python but in, in excel how it's going to be looking like so i'm just going to take another variable okay i'm going to take like let's say x0 x0 has so many different categories i'm going to take that and paste it here say data and remove duplicates Okay, so there are some 44 unique values. What I'm going to do is I am going to sort this data to A to Z, and there are some values that, that are existing here. So the encoding can be something like this I can put 0 and then 1 and continue to extend and add, add a number to each of these values. Now to put it back to the data, to put it back to the data, this is what we will be doing. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to create a copy of it. I'm going to say train modified. So, you know, I, I can go back to the original data whenever I want. So, so there's the X0 column that we have. So I'm going to call this X. Or let's say unique, unique of features. Go back to this particular place, and I want to look this up here. So I'm going to say is equal to we look up this particular value within the unique list here. Comma two exact match. Close the bracket. And you'll see I get the numbers within this right so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put the values like this so now we have a x0 feature with the encoding that's present here similarly I'm going to do it for one more so I'm I have this unique data set which I will continue to place right I will say data remove duplicates right now this has 27 unique values sort again and then i'm going to say the encoding here right uh, so the encoding I'm, I'm just going to simply copy till 26 paste it here okay and go back to the train modified here insert again perform v lookup look up this particular value within this f4 comma 2 exact match okay and then I paste the data here right now as you can see in Excel it's going to be a difficult task uh, but you keep encoding all of these features like this and then you perform analysis on top of it right so so far 
you know we've done all of these tests and performed one hot encoding now what next once you do this on the train data you have to perform the same thing on the test data and so this is going to be a human rest task on excel now that you know visually what goes on in the background in the next video i'm going to create a python code that will do the same steps and help you perform these exact steps on python see you in the next video